Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code weekly contest 3 and 10 and 34. Uh, it's an easy level problem and the accuracy also seems to be very good. Uh, so the it's an, uh, the problem name is left and right sub dif some differences. So given a zero indexed integer array, nums, find a zero indexed integer array answer where answer dot length equals to nums dot length. Okay. And answer of i equals to uh, the absolute value of left sum of i minus right sum of i okay what are the values of left sum and right sum so left sum of i is the sum of elements to the left of index i in the array num okay if there is no such element left sum will be zero similarly right sum is the sum of elements to the right of index i in the array if there is no such element right sum is zero now just see the ith element is not included in the left sum and the right sum that's the uh, uh, that's a point to notice here and return the answer array okay so in short what it is trying to say so suppose this is my array okay so my array is 10 4 8 and 3 i need to return another array of this size only okay and what are the values here so just see i am at this index i, I want to calculate uh, the first index of the answer array what i'll do now what is the left sum for this position there is no left element here so the left sum is zero Achha, what is the right sum for this? It is 4 plus 8 plus 3. Okay. So this is 15. So you do 0 minus 15 and take the absolute value. That means uh, remove the negative sign if there is. So the answer will be 15 here. Okay. Now you come to this position. Now what is the sum of elements on its left side? It is just 10. And what about this guy? It is 11. So 11 minus 10 or 10 minus 11, whatever you call it, it comes out to be 1. Similarly, when you come to this position, it is left sum is 10 plus 4 that is 14 right sum is 3 so the absolute value is 11 and then you come to this position what is some of these values it is 22 okay and what about the right hand side right hand side you don't have any element right because you you can't include 3 here so that is 0 so 22 and this is your answer right this is the this is what the problem is trying to say okay now uh if if you are new to coding uh, then i can understand it could be a non-intuitive but generally in these cases you can see here whenever you want to find the sum of a left side a right side so you can do it using a prefix array or something like that or you can just do it uh, with the help of a couple of variables now i have used uh, the variable thing here uh, just to have a better space complexity so if i show you the code here so the trick here will be you find the sum of all the elements okay you find the sum of all the elements and then when you come to this position okay when you come to this position you know the sum of all the elements okay so it's easy to find the sum of this part and this part how because when you start traversing take an extra variable which is keeping a track of sum of these elements right now if i know the sum of these elements if i know the sum of all the elements can't i find the sum of right elements okay what i'll do uh, what i'll do so if you know the total sum okay subtract this part and the current element you will find the right sum okay and then you just need to find the absolute difference so just see what i have done here i have taken a variable r sum which is initialized by zero and here what i have done i have, I have found out the sum of all the elements um, that is present in the r sum only okay r sum means right sum I have taken an extra variable L sum here to calculate to, to basically keep a track of the sum of left hand elements. Okay. And then this is the answer array. Now just see the trick here. Um, you start traversing and then the first thing that you do is R sum minus equals to remove the current element. Why? Because if this is your array, okay, if this is your array, you are at this position. So your R sum has the sum of all the elements. First thing is you remove this part because R sum will include only these elements. So R sum is uh you remove the current element now left sum is initialized by zero only and that is true that is true because you don't have any element so you find the absolute value now once you find the absolute value for the next step that means when you move here the left sum should include this element so that is why you update your left sum so left sum plus equals to nums of i okay so for every iteration what you do you first remove the current element from r sum okay because if you are at this position if you are at this position so you remove this element from your r sum so that the, it just keeps a track of these element and for left sum what you do in the previous step itself what you have done once you calculated it you added the uh, this this element right so that's the trick here and this is what i have done and finally you return your answer array yeah 
right so that's it for this problem um if you learn something new from this video do support it by giving a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well also uh, if you have any queries uh, mention that into the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye